All right, so let's talk about the Slurp Legends pack. So I did a review on this when it first came out, and I was a big fan of all three of these skins. So we've got Slurp Bandolette, Slurp Jonesy, and Leviathan. Now, all three of these are reactive, and in my review video, I actually said something that I wanted to see in-game, and lo and behold, they put it in the game. Now, as far as I know, I was the only YouTuber that said this. Not very many people covered these at all when they came out, because not a lot of people liked them. So let me just roll the footage real quick, not the entire video, just a little clip of what I said. So why can't we do that with Slurp Bandolette, Slurp Jonesy, and Slurp Leviathan? They should have three different styles. The first one, which is reactive, which is just how it works right now. It'll change gradually as you get more and more shield. The second one, which would be what they look like with no shield applied. And then the third one, or the quote monster version, which would be the fat head effect. So that was my recommendation. And today, when I logged in, because I always check to see if any skins had new styles or any updates, look at what I saw. If we go into here, we now have options to choose. We've got the monster, the base, and the blobhead. Exactly what I said. That is absolutely awesome. So of course, if you want the reactive one, you keep it on default. But otherwise, you can literally pick here. If you want the big fat monster head, you pick that one. If you want the base one, you just pick that one. And this, in fact, is my favorite. And then if you want the blobhead, which is like the middle option, you pick that one. How incredible is that? So now people won't be able to tell where you are in the shield department, because if you weren't aware, that's how they're reactive. The more shield you take, the bigger the head gets, basically. So if you're walking around with the fat head, people know, hey, this dude has at least close to full shield, if not full shield. And to me, I thought that was a huge disadvantage. But now people are not going to be able to tell because you could be running this one, the base one, and have full shield and you wouldn't have that fat head effect. So that is absolutely awesome. That makes this so much more viable in game. So if this does come back, I would say this is well worth the purchase. So I'll be honest, I'm a huge fan of all three of these skins. They go great with so many combos, including of course my favorite, the Black Knight Shield. But if you don't own the original Bandolette, then this is a nice purchase. Same thing for Leviathan. These are super cheap compared to the original cost of these skins. Now, oddly enough, Leviathan only has three options. He's got the default one, the base, and then the blob head. But I seem to recall there being a transitional stage between these two, but maybe they took that out entirely. Huh. Because he doesn't have the monster form, which is supposed to be the final form. Interesting. I mean, his face is always in a bubble anyway, so there's not much difference between the three to be honest <laughs> i don't know why though i just love this slurp jonesy it's just an awesome looking skin same thing for bandolette i could go without leviathan but i just love the darker colored skins in the game the black and blue is just phenomenal so that's a nice little update they basically made these from pay to lose into what they should have been in the first place and that of course is giving you the option to not show how much shield you have. It was a nice concept. It was a nice idea, but I don't think they thought it through. I mean, who would want to go around exposing to everyone in the lobby just how much shield you have? That's a huge drawback, and I'm glad they fixed it. In fact, I saw so many people on Reddit say, why would I buy this? Why would I want to pay something that exposes how much shield I have? You don't want your enemy to know, so why would you broadcast it to everyone? So if you didn't buy this pack because of that reason, next time it comes out, if it does return, Go ahead and buy it because it's well worth the cost right now after this change and i do like how they left the reactive one in there so just in case you only bought it because it did that you still have that effect pretty sweet all right so that's all there is to it i just wanted to give a brief update because i didn't see this anywhere in the patch notes anywhere in the in-game notifications they basically snuck this one in and if you don't run these skins to begin with you would never know so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video a like is always appreciated and don't forget to use my supporter creator code, which by the way, is Tabor Time.